Welcome to SchoolNet's webinar series of past winners in Microsoft's Partners in Learning Forum. Today we have Lengiwe Mefeka, who is going to speak on her project, My Community, My Pride, My Place. Over to you, Lengiwe. Um, I was saying that um, I feel that this project is now updated and also after um, uh, hearing uh, Nith's uh, presentation, really this one, but Fiona assured me that uh, it's, it's still okay. I'm sure you're going to learn one or two things, especially for those who are in, in rural areas, um, they will become motivated that they can actually do something in their schools. Um, first, I'm going to give you a background of my school um, where I was teaching in 2009 because this is a 2009 project um the school is situated in a deep rural area which is called guahaza in kzn uh, close to Hawick. um it is very backward in terms of development and infrastructure the um, unemployment rate is high poverty you name it you know those kind of rural areas so that's where the school is situated. Um, and then um, I'm going to start by the, the, the goals, what made me think of doing the, the project. Firstly, as I've mentioned that uh, the, the, the school is situated in a rural area where there is um, not much of a development is taking place. So um, I thought that um, by doing this project, uh, it will involve the learners where they also understand that they have a role that they could play as the members of the community and also to develop uh, the appreciation of their environment because they feel embarrassed of where they are coming from, especially if it's a, a rural area. And uh, another thing that I had in mind is that uh, I wanted um, to use ICT uh, uh, to solve the community problems and also to motivate the entire schools uh, in integrating ICT and to uh, impact uh, the teaching and learning. And another um, objective that I had, you know, our learners, uh, they struggle with uh, critical thinking, the high level of thinking. So I also thought that I, I, I want a project that will develop the learner's thinking skills um, into a high level um, using the online thinking tools. So those were the goals of the, the, the project. Right, um, now this is how we, we, we started the project. We, we look at the the, the shortcomings in the community and how they affect the, the schools. And therefore, I then became, became motivated to work with the learners to dig information regarding the lack of development in uh, four uh, different areas. That is the infrastructure, the access to health. Um, the main reason in, on, on the access to health services is because there's only a mobile a clinic that visits the area once a month. I'm, 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 yes, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the, the background. I'm still on the first slide. I will come on to the other slide. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a many pictures prepared for, for this. So I'm sorry, I'm going to bore you with a lot of talking and, uh, nothing to 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 motivate you okay and then the access to health services and then agriculture and environment because there are lack of farming skills and equipment which could assist people to combat a uh, poverty lastly the absence of recreational facilities now i'm going to move on to the next slide Okay, I'll show you the images of the classroom. OK, 
Okay, so um, this is how we 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 we, we the, the project started. Um, let us have to identify the the social economic issues in their in their community. So they listed them, and they had to um, uh, rank them according to the most critical one. They, they had to rank them according to the most critical one. So we we use um, a thinking with technology tool there, which is called a visual ranking, where they had to think which one is the most critical out of all the um, social economic issues that they have listed. And uh, after that, they had to come up with a hypothesis where they stem, they state a claim why they think that particular um, a social economic issue is the most critical one. And after they've made the hypothesis, they had to design a questionnaire where they had to um, go out to the community and people ask them questions about that particular social e economic issue. Right, after that, they had to identify the sites that they are going to Oh, okay, 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 thanks, Keith, about that. Um, I would have shared a, a, a different PowerPoint presentation other than the VCT. It's just that I had no idea that um, we're going to use this uh, for, for sharing our screen. Um, right, they had to identify their sites and organize a schedule of visits to interview people from the community. Those are the head men, we call them... Um, in Luna and also the government le leaders, the municipality. And they, when, once they collected the information, they had to um, synthesize it, um, extract the useful information. And then based on their findings, they had to um, devise three strategies, eliminate those uh, that they think um, are most workable for their chosen issue. And they also, they also had to do the PowerPoint presentation at the end, send it to, they had to do the PowerPoint presentation at the end and present it to um, the community as well as the school at large. Um, other than the presentation that they, other than the presentation that they, they were supposed to do, they also did a, a brochure the group that were doing the, the absence of recreational facilities on the increase of teenage pregnancy and, and substance abuse, they did um, they they did the the, the DVD on um, on substance abuse and and, and 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 teenage pregnancy as a as an awareness, and they uh, also. Okay. Bye. Bye. But um, other than the 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 PowerPoint presentation, as I've said, that they 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 presented, um, there were additional things that they they there were additional things that they they did, which is the brochure, the DVD, movie, posters, and others. They also um, wrote poems on on their as uh, or, or on their a um, uh, issue that they were dealing with. Okay, but um now what they did when they were doing the the their research, they used the cell phone because um they don't they don't have cameras so they were using cell phone to take the photographs as well as the videos while they are doing the the interviews now the limitations with that because they were using the poor quality um not the high um uh, cell phones those uh, uh those cell phones with high technology, the, the quality of pictures that was taken was is quite poor 
and also the the sound of the videos were were not clear and um they also learned how to um how to transfer the photos from the cell phone to the computer and what was interesting about this is that they were doing this for the first time they've never done the project uh, that integrated ict actually um it was their first year learning about computers, so it it was the project plus learning how to use uh, the the learning how to use the, the the technology. So it 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 includes very basic technology like the using the 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 Office application, the Microsoft Office applications, uh, PowerPoint presentations, Excel, Microsoft Excel. Where they enter their interview responses to create the the chart and also to analyze uh, the responses uh, that they got from the community. They also used the Microsoft Publisher where they created a brochure. They also used a Microsoft Word to type in poems, inserts, pictures, and and, and 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 so forth. And all that it was very exciting for them because it's something that they've never done it before. Um, the, pro the project took us about um, 10 weeks, including the weekends, because it, it, it took us like 10 weeks, including the weekends, because in, in other times we, we would work um, during weekends, uh, because learners were, 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 were motivated in, in, in doing the project. Um, so they would also come during break time, uh, asking questions, and also coming up with ideas uh, that I did not have in, in, in my planning. Um, now, finally, I'm going to talk about um, the, 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 the changes, uh, things that happened that had an, 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 an impact on, uh, on the community I I itself. Learners came up with um, um, recommendations to the um, municipality as well as the Department of Agriculture that they were working with. And um, some of the interesting things that the Department of Agriculture mentioned is that um, they felt that um, by by being involved in in, in this project, these the learners exposed them some somehow. They identified loopholes uh, in in the department, and they felt that they need to do the introspection as, as, as the department and they also uh, think or uh, thought of the, the the other projects that they they could do with these learners as the department of agriculture and also the 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 the, the, the counselors also the the, the counselors um they they thought um the, these learners brought to their attention the problems that they that were not obvious to them. So they thought it would be a good idea to involve the learners into the into their community uh, forums. Um, um, I, I'm going to end there. That was Lengiwe Mafeka speaking on her project, My Community, My Pride, My Place. Thank you very much, Lingiwe. Good day, everyone.